Oh, it might have legal challenges. There are always legal challenges to, to big steps forward like this, but I'm confident it's going gonna, it's gonna to pass the House, and I can tell you 100 percent that I'm going to sign it. Whether someone challenges it or not is up to them. That's what the courts are for. This is very important. This is one of the most pro-life bills, most pro-life we've had here, one of the most pro-life in the country. It's time. It's, it's, a, it's a good step forward. We're protecting all the people of South Carolina. Our people are great. We're going to protect them. This is a big step forward. Yeah, they wrote, uh, uh, sorry, yes, they walked. Well, that's that's the call, that's the legislative process. Uh, sometimes people walk out, or they can vote or not vote. You see a lot of abstentions. You have people that uh, don't vote yay or nay, but vote present. That's just part of the political process. This is an issue that interests a lot of people. Uh, there's enormous interest around the country. Has been for a lot of years, but this is a great step forward for South Carolina, and I'm confident it's going to make a it's going to make a difference to the people in our state. I, I think Rush Limbaugh was a terrific man. Someone said he was, he was the chief explainer. He could, uh, a lot of us have thoughts about things and we have instincts and feelings, but we can't quite put it into words to where we can explain it. Uh, Rush Limbaugh understood what he was talking about deeply and he could explain it in a way that crystallized others' thought. He was one of the major leaders in the, the conservative movement in our country, and uh, we're going to miss him. He, he's had an enormous positive impact on our country. Well, th there's nobody quite like Rush Limbaugh, but there's a lot of talent in America, and I give it some time. You always wonder when when one of the one of the big people leaves, you you wonder who will take who will fill their shoes, just like the old country song. Someone always comes along. Don't worry, the the spark, the fire that he ignited is still burning brightly, and it will continue to burn. You have a lot of politicians starting podcasts in South Carolina. You're not going to join the Tribal Bible, are you? Beg your pardon? You're not going to join the podcast Tribal Bible, are you? No, sir. I'm busy. I I, I got a lot to do. I don't have. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Tomorrow. Sure. Well, that's that's just part of legislation. That the, any legislation can be challenged on a variety of grounds. The pro-life legislation has been uh, challenged all over the country. There are cases pending now. We have a new U.S. Supreme Court, a new some new justices on that court. We have a lot of new justices in the in the federal court system. And I, I believe that this legislation will stand. I believe it will be challenged, but, but ultimately it will stand because it is, it is the right answer to a very serious question. Well, one, one reason the, the state support uh, for our uh, for higher ed uh, has, has gone down over the years, it really took a drop back in, eight in 2008 and 2009. We need to catch back up, but it, 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 it seems that uh, the, the costs all over the country are, uh, seem to be spiraling out of control. I know USC at one time uh, pledged not to raise the, their tuition. Other colleges are, are, are curbing curbing theirs, but any way you look at it, we have a lot of, a lot of very talented young people who just uh, cannot make those ends meet. Uh, a lot of them may be their first uh, family member to go to college, go to after, after high school, to higher education of any kind. And if, if we can help those, those that cannot afford to do it, it will make a tremendous difference because South Carolina has got enormous talent, as you saw in the room just a few minutes ago. And people around the world, here's your proof, businesses from all over the world 
are looking to invest in the people of South Carolina to run their businesses. Now that tells you something right there, something that we who live here sometimes don't really fully appreciate. But it's our job for these young people, we have to allow them to develop those talents. They have, we have to in, in develop that, that capital. We have to see that they are, are able to lead us into the future where the competition is, is fierce. But I have, I have confidence that these things that we talked about today, uh, give it, giving that lift to those students will make an enormous difference in the future for our state. What, what we, we will we'll do anything we can afford to do. Uh, we, we can afford to do what we've suggested today, that is to help these uh, students, these need-based scholarships, tuition grants, and, and others for public and private schools, wherever these students want to go in South Carolina. We know we can do that. We've, we've uh, computed the cost of it and the benefits, the rewards, uh, what will proceed from the use of th these funds is dramatic uh, in when compared to the funds themselves. This is a, if we can do this, I, I think this will open a lot of doors and allow us to do even greater things in the future. Well, that, that, that depends on what the bill says, also depends on what the courts say if there is a legal challenge. All those things are addressed there.